Right, so as a follow up, um, it was mentioned that the frequency from the LX chip on the solar chargers actually decreases as the battery level drops. So, what I'm going to do is well, I've took this one apart even further now, um, broke that off of there. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the LED from here um, and implant it on this PCB there where it was meant well I suppose on another version it could have gone um, and I'm going to use, I'm going to remove this battery um, and I'll connect up a power supply um, so we can simulate the battery dropping um, so we can start off at 1.2 volts and gradually drop the voltage and see how the frequency reacts Right, so I've modified the circuit now, so I've put the LED here, um, obviously I'd already removed the solar panel. Um, I've attached some wires here with a bit of hot glue for strain relief. This is where the battery was, um, which is this one here. Uh, this is rated for 1.2 volts, so I'm just going to give this a quick measure um, to make sure we don't go above this in our simulation so I'm just going to quickly measure that we get 1.2366 volts so we just won't go over 1.24 um, but we will set our power supply to start at 1.24 as that's fully charged voltage so um, I've connected my precision supply to the battery connectors. Um, I've attached a wire here to ground for the ground clip of my oscilloscope probe. And we're going to attach this clip as close as we can so we want as little as capacitance as possible. And we're going to connect our probe to LX output from the chip. Now as we can see the light is off. Um, now just move the camera. So just before I turn this on, we can see I've got 1.23 volts set, and I've just got a current limit of 100 milliamps. It's not going to draw anywhere near that amount. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to switch this on. This will act like a fully charged battery now. And you can see we don't have anything yet. Um, now what I'm going to do is turn the circuit on, which will connect the battery. And And then, because I've removed the solar panel, it's not going to be receiving any voltage from it, so it will believe it is dark and the light will come on. There we go, so we've got a light. Um, and now what this oscilloscope is showing us, we've got our 245 kilohertz at 2.92 volts. So, what I'm going to do now is, using the power supply, reduce this voltage down and see if it has any effect on the output of LX. So, dialing this down, just keep an eye on the LED, the frequency, which as I drop down, we can see the frequency is dropping and you can see the space getting bigger. Oop, right, okay. So what we can do, we can see this time here getting bigger now as we drop down the voltage. Um, and this is going to drop out. We've got 910 millivolts down to 210 kilohertz. 
we're now below 200 kilohertz well about 200 kilohertz if we get some more in there we can get a more accurate measurement so still about 200 kilohertz so still within spec for the chip um, but we're going to drop down some more and gone not enough power to power the circuit so yep as the battery does deplete um, the frequency of the LED does get slower I'm going to try and see if I can get some slow-mo footage of the LED flickering 